Hi, my name is Andy Green, an import of the Wanscam indoor camera JW0008 in South Africa. I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up the camera on your Android phone. This is also good for the JW0004 and other plug and play Wanscam cameras. This is what's inside the box. Please note the JW0008 does not come with an Ethernet network cable. So go and check in your wireless router box and see if you have one in there, as they always supply one. Or nip down to your local computer store and buy one as you are going to need it. I can only think Wanscam thought everyone must have one lying around somewhere. Which is probably right and will be once you go and buy one. Okay, first thing to do is connect the network cable to a spare port on the wireless router. And now connect the antenna, the network cable and the power lead to the camera. Putting power on the camera will initialize the startup procedure, also known as booting the camera. The camera comes with a wall mounting bracket, but we don't need it for the setting up of the camera. Also, the CD is not required for setting up either. The camera will start to turn left and right, up and down, then settle in the middle and takes about a minute. On the CD, amongst other things, is the Android app, but it is also on the Android Play Store, which is easier to get than copying it from your CD to your phone and then installing it. So let's shoot across the Play Store and find the app and install it. Now type in search e-view7 and press the search icon bottom right and install it. I have it already installed but you will click on the install and accept any prompts it asks. You can now click on open or find it in your applications and run it. Now press add and Wanscam give you three ways to add the camera, but really the best way is to use search. The other ways are you have to type the code, which is found on the bottom of the camera, or you have to hold the camera upside down and scan in the QR code. But we are going to use search. If it does not find the camera, I'm pretty sure the other two ways will not work either. Select the correct camera. If this is your only camera, select it. Else look on the bottom of the camera for the ID. You can name the camera and the default user is admin and the password is left blank. Press done, wait for the camera to connect, then select it. The camera is working even if I am at 90 degrees. Right, next is to make it wireless and to do this we are going to need a few things. One, you need a wireless network, pretty obvious. The name of the wireless network known as the SSID. You're going to have to know the share key or password which has been set in your wireless router which secures your network. Select the settings cog. Now let's set the Wi-Fi settings by pressing Wi-Fi settings then Wi-Fi manager and a list or just your network will show and the security type. Press on your network and type your wireless network password. Press done, the camera will restart and you will be able to remove the network cable from your camera. Hey, that's me, a little camera shy, so I will move on. Select the settings cog. Under the camera settings, you'll be able to add your email for sending and receiving alerts. You'll be able to change your password and create an operator's username and password. 
Best to use your smartphone's Gmail address, which you use to access the Android Play Store, and use the same email to receive the alerts. So the camera will send an email to you and then will receive it on your smartphone with a photo of what activated it. Check this out under Alarm Settings and Email Settings. It will be wise to create a password as the administrator of the camera and anyone else can use the operator's account and password. The difference between the two accounts, only the administrator can change settings. The operators can still move the camera. Up to four people can view the camera at once. People you would like to view the camera can download the app from the Play Store. You then give them the code of the camera found on the label on the bottom of the camera and the operator's username and password only. When you have finished, press done and the camera will restart. You can then place the camera anywhere you have power and Wi-Fi. That's it folks, I will be adding more videos regarding Wanscam cameras, so check in the YouTube description of this video below.